greatest now of all is to say la ilaha illallah and Allah Rasulullah. To be in this world and to acknowledge Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as your Lord is the biggest now. We are slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are slaves. We have no right, no reason, no right to say I. To believe we have any credit in anything that happens to us. Even your prayer here coming is not by your own doing. It is the fatwa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you his favor to come and to make such the voice. If he doesn't grant you favor to make such that, you can't make such that. Your Prophet ﷺ taught you how to, when you hear the adhan, to, how to respond. And he said, when, when you hear, Hayya al salah, come to pray. Hayya al falah, come to do good deeds. He taught you to say, La hawla wa la quwata illa billahi al azim. Means when you are called to do a good deed, Prophet Sallallahu wants you to know it's not by your own doing. That's why we say, Ya Rabbi, I have no power, no ability. If you don't grant me to get up, if you don't grant me to drive my car to the masjid, if you don't grant me aql to understand the value of salah, if you don't get, grant me health to go perform salah, how can I perform such? What if you, how many millions are out there? They don't know, they're not Muslims. It's not even in their list of priorities to pray for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have to show our gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because أَنْعَمَ عَلَيْنَا بِنَعْمَةِ Islam That He favored us with the favor of Islam. And show our gratitude by extending that invitation of Islam to those around us because Allah that you are not going to reach righteousness, piety, goodness unless you spend from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants you and He grants you the Greatest na'ma of all is to say la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah To be in this world and to acknowledge Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as your Lord is the biggest na'ma. So your duty and our duty in this country with non-Muslims majority is to actually understand our faith, apply our faith and extend it to share it with, with the greater community. Show them you can do it in many ways. You can do it through your saying, but you can do it through your state as well. Your hal. So that people know this is a Muslim, a man of great manners, a man of great uh, behavior. And they're asking how to become, how to know more about Islam. People recognize perfection. Even they recognize it in great afflictions. They see now in the Muslim world, Muslims, how they deal with affliction, how they deal with trials and difficulties. They look at that and they say, how come these people, where, where is this coming from? That in the, in the, in the face of what is unthinkable trials or odds, difficulties that someone can say Alhamdulillah Ajay so this is not only for people who are this is for all of us to learn from and to understand that our presence in this country is not just to build masajid and pray Jum'ah no, you are here as a representative, belli wa anni Prophet Sallallahu One thing, teach people about me something, one thing, even if you know one thing. 
Indonesia, 250 million people became Muslims, not because people sat together, this community built the masjid and everybody sat together. And they all grew old and died, and they have a cemetery, and that's all our concerns. The main purpose of our being here in this country is what? Is Dawah. Hadramaut is the Yemen, 250 million, the largest country in the world, Yemen, in the Muslim country. They all became Muslims because of what? Because of Yemeni merchants and Mashaq going there and spreading the Dawah. Inshallah, this is a reminder for myself, for our community, and to those who are here. Allah, 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 Allah